I made reinforcement learning a thousand times faster with Pufferlib. But Joseph, nothing's ever a thousand times faster. That's always just marketing. Well, in this case, you can go grab CleanRL or SB3, common research libraries, and you'll get, on most of their de default tasks, 500 to 5k steps per second on some relatively simple problems. Well, with Pufferlib, you get on harder problems, 500k, 5 million. So how did this gap even exist, right? No mature field should ever let you optimize anything 1,000x. It's not that complicated. It's not genius. It does require a little bit of historical context. I started in other sub areas of AI, and then I came over to reinforcement learning in the mid 2010s. And we already had the main algorithm by then that made the field possible. And we had DQN, and this was a really brittle algorithm. It didn't work super well, but we got double QNets, we got prioritized experience replay, uh, we got distributional RL, and this produces Rainbow as the main algorithm that for a couple years at least was working in off policy. We also got uh, SAC, though I think mostly, mostly roboticists are all about this. And, and then we also got PPO, which is the semi-on policy algorithm uh, that beat Dota. So very, very strong baseline here. The thing is that we didn't stop there even when uh, returns started diminishing, right? So when I was an undergrad at Stanford, when I was interning at OpenAI, even in the first couple years of my PhD, all the best researchers I knew were just thinking about what is the next algorithm, right? How do we beat these? No other variables. And we got hundreds of published algorithms, and it was common knowledge that none of them really worked, right? They worked on paper, but you try them on your problem, and they would just completely fail, or at the best, they would just match the baseline. Uh, to understand why this happens, you have to understand that academia is very good at hitting targets. It's very bad at setting reasonable targets. The target that everybody was looking at, steps or samples. Your algorithm trains in fewer samples than mine. Yours is better, even if yours is way slower, way more brittle, and less generally applicable. So all I did with Puffer was to ask a different question, a simple question that wasn't being thought about at the time. What happens if we optimize for wall clock? Algorithmically and manually via good engineering. Turns out you can actually make things run a thousand times faster and solve a lot of those problems that were taking hours in seconds. But this was not immediately well received, right? Uh, I tried to publish Pufferlib at 10x faster than everything else, not good enough. 100x faster than everything else, still not good enough. 1000x, all right, maybe we'll pay attention.